Even when they're dead, lionfish are dangerous. Chefs have to carefully remove their 18 venomous spines. A sting can be very painful and even cause paralysis. That's one of the reasons it's been hard to add lionfish to restaurant menus. Even though the invasive species has terrorized the Caribbean, eating everything in its path. Mucha gente todavía dice, no, ese pez envenena, o sea, tiene veneno. So for years, fishermen ignored them until they no longer could. They attack the baby fish, they unbalance the ecosystem in the coral reefs. Spear fishers in places like Colombia are starting to have an impact, but they'll never catch them all. People have commented negatively attacking me, saying, why are you killing the fish? And I love it when they do that because it's like, come on in, let's tell you why, let me tell you why. So how bad is the lionfish problem really? And what will it take to solve it? Vamos a buscar el pez león, ¿listo? Bienvenidos, que lo disfruten. Andres Felipe Valencia is taking a group of tourists from Santa Marta on a hunt for one of Colombia's top marine predators. Este es del chico. Once they reach the coral reefs in Tirona National Park, they gear up and take the plunge. Spearfishing is often the only way of catching the venomous lionfish. And it's not always easy. You have to kind of hold your breath, but your adrenaline's pumping, and you're like, oh, no, what do I do? And then you kind of float on in like he does when he goes to eat, and then release the spear. Their stripes act as camouflage among the reefs, where they prey on smaller fish and shrimp. No lo conocen. Piensan que es una piedra. Divers aim for the lionfish's throat, head, or dorsal fin. Then they remove its 18 venomous spines. Corta todo esto con una tijera para poderlo manipular de una forma normal y sin tener accidentes de, de esto. Jimmy Rosero once ended up in the hospital after getting too close. Enterró mucho, me dañó la uña, el, el dedo acá. Es muy fuerte el dolor. Since they started hunting in this area years ago, numbers have dropped. Una vez con un compañero sacamos 70 en una inmersión. But not this time. Cuatro peces león. I don't think there's going to be enough humans to care about this to be able to eradicate it completely. But it does make a difference. No, Spearing lionfish one at a time is slow and expensive. But traditional fishing methods just won't work. They usually don't go for bait on hooks. And you can't use nets because they would risk damaging the reefs. Lionfish can also swim down where divers can't reach them. They've been found up to a thousand feet deep, far beyond a recreational diver's 130 foot limit. But just 16 years ago, there weren't any here at all. Lionfish are native to the Indian and South Pacific Oceans, roughly 10,000 miles away from the Colombian coast. They became popular in aquariums across North America in the 1980s because of their striking appearance. It's thought a few were released and it didn't take long for their population in the wild to explode. In fact, scientists have traced all the lionfish in the Caribbean, Western Atlantic, and Gulf of Mexico back to just 10 females. Es el peleón que fue introducido básicamente por nosotros, los humanos, como casi todas las especies introducidas. Adolfo San Juan Munoz has been researching marine ecology here for about 15 years. En lugares específicos como en San Andrés se ha podido detectar que en los primeros 20 metros de profundidad hay entre 1 y 3 millones de peces león. In the span of a few years, they spread from the coast of the U.S. to the Bahamas and throughout the Caribbean. Giant eels will eat them. But lionfish have far fewer predators here compared to their native waters. While most reef fish only reproduce once a year, lionfish can do so year-round. And mature females can release roughly 30,000 eggs every four days for up to 15 years. They also have a huge appetite, feeding on more than 70 different species of fish and crustaceans. And they can grow up to 18 inches. 
One study from 2008 found that a single lionfish in a coral reef can reduce the number of native fish by 79%, including species that regulate algae growth. So reefs are hurting too. Seven coral species in the Caribbean already have been listed as threatened because of the lionfish boom. Across the Caribbean, some lionfish programs have been more successful than others. From Venezuela to Cuba, divers are starting to see how controlling the population can help. Ya actualmente todo el arrecife se volvió a poblar de, de los peces, de las variedades del arrecife. The world's largest hunting competition is held off Florida's Gulf Coast. In 2023, divers caught a record-breaking 30,494 lionfish throughout the four-month event. But it's still a case of managing, not eradicating the problem. A 2017 study estimated that invasive fish like lionfish carp and ruff cost the U.S. over $2 billion a year. In Colombia, fishermen feel they are fighting a losing battle. Preocupa mucho eso porque en la medida que pase el tiempo vamos a tener menos pargo, menos menos mero, menos medregales. Victor Rafael Quinto has been a fisherman here for over 25 years. His traps used to be full of fish and lobster. But these days, this is all he can find. Nosotros llegamos a coger 150 kilos de pargo, ahora no pasamos de 30. Entonces ha mermado el 70% la captura del pargo. No más en esa sola especie. That's because lionfish not only feed on baby snapper, but also outcompete grown ones for food. And here in Palomino, the water is too choppy to dive for them. No tenemos equipo adecuado para capturarlos con más eficiencia. It's not that lionfish isn't sellable. It goes for 30,000 pesos or $7 per kilo, roughly the same amount as grouper or red snapper. Fishermen just aren't able to catch enough of them. Su trae un kilo no 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 tiene ningún beneficio, pero si tú coges 20, 30 días casi diario, pues va a haber un beneficio directo al al a todo el pescador. And with fewer species at their disposal, it's becoming difficult for fishermen to get by, especially when you throw a hard sell like lionfish into the mix. For a few years now, a handful of restaurants in the area have set out to prove the skeptics wrong. Victor sells his catch to one called Siete Mares. Chef Claribel Gordiou started serving lionfish about three years ago. Even she had her doubts. Primeramente fue como de miedo, como que uy, un pescado venenoso. Pero ya luego de probarlo, fue algo totalmente diferente. Now she buys 15 kilograms of lionfish per week. Voy a empezar a cortar todas estas espinas. She always uses tongs to avoid touching them directly. Aquí empezamos lo que es la fileteada. The dish she's preparing today is a raw-styled kibba with Asian and Arabic influences. Está formada a base de ají criollo, cebolla y hierbabuena. El nombre de los platos significa salvar el mar porque como estamos en la búsqueda de, de eso, she tops it off with spices, salt, and bulgur wheat. Lionfish has a mild flavor, similar to shrimp or sea bass. Mm. And more and more people are developing a taste for it. Sale, de siete. Una vez lo prueban, se sienten felices de saber que están aportando búsqueda de salvar el mar, y a la economía de los pescadores locales. Back at Tayrona National Park, the diving crew heads to shore to cook up their own lionfish recipe. Hey, ¿Cómo te fue? Mira, mira lo que te traje. Esa es la pesca de hoy. Jairo Varela used to be a park ranger here. Now he spends his time as an ecotourism guide, preparing lionfish for others to try. Que tanto en mi experiencia que he vivido en la vida de la pesca, 
El pez león es el pez que le he visto la carne más fina del océano. Today he's making ceviche with it. Ah, y tiene las vísceras. Vamos a ver qué tiene dentro del estómago. Ah, sí. Ha comido muy poquito. Tiene el estómago vacío. O sea que le ha ido mal. Entonces, tan mal que se va para el ceviche. The dish is always a hit with tourists looking for fuel after a long day of diving. Prase, muy rico. Mmm, oh my god. Este es mío. Sí. <laughs> sí. He takes the rest to grill on the barbecue. Es tan buena que como lo prepare, en la forma que lo prepares. Still, it's been difficult to create a steady market for lionfish. Jairo says more people have been coming to hunt them, but it hasn't been enough to turn the tide. Bueno, le fue para la muela. Limoncito y... Jairo. ¿Qué más? André, te entrego tu, tu wow. bobo de, de pez león para que comparta con tu... Clientes. Gracias, Jairo. Oye, la carne rica es sin miedo. Muy suave, no, no tiene mucho sabor así fuerte. Cógelo, el chicken nugget. <risa> el Tairona es el pulmón de Santa Marta. El pez león, como no se ataque contundentemente, las playas irán a quedar sin peces porque creciendo, sobrecreciendo sobre poblaciones. 